because once you start feeling burnout, you're really not learning anything. Like I, I would encourage anybody to en- enjoy the journey of learning and studying. When I saw your videos and they started to inspire me, I, I was like, I needed to keep going and I, nothing was going to make me stop. Bonjour guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to interview a student, Tori, who recently passed her FE exam. Well, she actually passed it in May and uh, she graduated in 2001 and she graduated with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and she also passed FE mechanical. And so today Tori is going to share with us her experience and what she did to pass her FE exam on her fourth attempt. Tori, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Um, all right, I'm mean, really excited to do this. Uh, I've been wanting to do this since you passed your FE exam, but we couldn't really set up the interview. And um, before we dive in into time management, resources, all the heavy okay. questions, let's first talk a little bit about why did you decide to take your FE exam? So when I, <laughs> when I was going to VCU like 20 years ago, I, I was scheduled to take it, but I skipped it and decided to go to the beach instead which was not a good choice. (laughs) And my grandfather, who was an engineer, and he he never got his PE, he was always trying to to push me to get it. But I always used excuses because I think I was really scared of taking the test, the actual test. I don't think I was really, I would say that I didn't want that liability or responsibility of being a PE because it's too much, you know. And so I would use excuses to not take the test. But I finally decided that one of my colleagues had just graduated college not long and he had passed it. And then it just kind of put out a spark in me. I was like, you know, I really should go for it. And so after I got that spark, it just made me I was like, I was like, I got to pass this. Okay, so now you failed three times. And so then, you know, what did you do? to keep going, you know, cause you were initially, you were scared of failing and you, yeah. it happened and it happened yeah. again. So yeah. what, you know, how did you overcome failure? And then how, you know, did you, you didn't give up what happened? So the first time I took the test, I went in very naively thinking, oh, this is, this is not going to be bad. Everybody, it's easy to pass is what, I, because my colleague that took it recently, he's like, oh yeah, just use the book, use the Lindenberg book. And I went in very naively, went in and I had a total panic attack the first time. And so the, I learned I needed more tools in my toolbox. And so when I saw your videos and they started to inspire me, I, I was like, I needed to keep going and nothing was going to make me stop. And I think it was just that challenge kept me going. I mean, I would have a period of like where I was down after failing, but I was, I was invested. I had already taken some time. And so each time I, I didn't pass it. I felt like I got, I did a little better on something. Mm. Yeah. So awesome. that's actually really interesting. Cause like yeah. what you try to focus on, on is progress. So each time you took it, when you failed, even though like it did suck at the moment, cause nobody yeah. likes to fail, but you try to turn it around and be like, okay, let me compare it to my previous one where it looks like I did make some progress here. And that kind of like helped you to keep going because you saw that progress. You felt like you could do this. You can make this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's amazing. You had the yeah. process and you just focus on that. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about time management. So a lot of our students or just students in general, when they start studying for the FE, a lot of people start questioning how long or how much do they need Mm -hmm. to commit to study for this exam, right? Um, So tell us a little bit, like how many months did you study? I found your class and I think your class helped me to like just relearn everything because it's because you make it so... Uh, what do I call you make things sound a lot simpler than what they are so you the concepts that sounded really um, you know foreign at times I would you made it you made it sound just where I could just learn it so your class I think it was kind of like each time I got a little better and I didn't have to study as much going on you know and so when I first started I was I was like I way underestimated things and then the next time I like 
put a lot in and, and then and then the third time I didn't have to I just needed to kind of sharpen so that's kind of how I did yeah but I can go over like the schedule but I, I tried to do a couple hours in the evenings and then I tried to and then I would do maybe uh, a full day on the weekend and whatever I could put in on maybe like Sunday like you know Saturday I might have like you know, four or five hours and then Sunday, maybe eight, it, it, depending on the day on the, it, and so I didn't always do that though. And as I got further along in the process, I, I found that I was getting burnt out. And so I would reduce mm. that some too. Mm, yeah. That makes sense. So yeah. it looks like at first you kind of put in a lot of like studying into it. And it's, I think it's because you've been, you've been out of school for a while mm -hmm. since yeah. 2001. And so a lot of these concepts, like even if you learned them back then, you almost like we learned them, we learning them now. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So it's not like just reviewing. It's not the same thing as like a recent graduate who can just kind of like review, maybe we enforce some of the concepts. So mm -hmm. you had to relearn, then we enforce the concepts and then just like work on your time management and make sure that you're getting mm -hmm. the questions on time, right? Answering them yeah. on time. And yeah. so, you know, the first six and the second time when you took eight months, that was just you kind of like making sense of all of these concepts and just <laughs> learning them, right? Yeah. And then after that, we just like, hey, let me work on my weaknesses and reinforce the concept that I'm missing so that I can progress again and mm -hmm. move forward. And yeah. then, yeah, and then maybe the, the last attempt was like, you know, making sure that you finish the exam on time and answering as many questions mm -hmm. as you can. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of makes total sense. And you talked a little bit about burnout. Was there anything that you did to kind of like overcome burnout at the end, uh, besides like decreasing the hours? Did you take more time for yourself to recharge? Like, like, what did you do to overcome it? Because this is a big one too. Mm -hmm. I would, I would try to maybe put some exercise in, go for a run or do something else. Just, just go spend time like outside and outdoors and disconnect. Uh, that's that. I think that helped me the most because once you start feeling burnout, you're really not learning anything. Like I, I ended up just looking at a book and it's like, it's quality. I learned that it's studying is quality over quantity. It's like you get, you get into your mind that you're like, Oh, I need to study like five hours this day and six hours that day. And you might be looking at it, but once you're burnt out, you're not like nothing's going in. And so that's kind of what I, what I would do is I would, I would take a break, get outside, do something else, like get away from, you know, the computer, the books, you know, it was just a way to kind of regroup yeah um, yeah I agree like when you burn out like you're not processing anything at that moment and you're just wasting that time so it's better if you just go ahead and recharge and then mm -hmm. come back you know later like more fresh and you can tackle it than trying to push it and pushing your limits the next thing I actually want to discuss is um you're comparing your fourth attempt to the previous attempt. And I was wondering if, uh, like, what factors do you think factored into not passing before? So I, my first, so I'll say my first attempt, I would just totally call that a naive going in way underprepared. After that, I would say each time it was just, strategy I think strategy helped me the most with and like the second time I ended up adding another um, prep class in there because um your class is great like but I needed something for the um heavy duty mechanical subjects and that's why I was kind of hoping that you would put out a mechanical <laughs> you know class I was trying to ask you a lot about hey when are you gonna put a mechanical class out but they, they do gear, you know, like the, I needed some help in those mechanical subjects. So I took, I took a class, uh, the school of PE, um, and that helped as well, just to get like, cause it was heavy duty mechanical. Like mm -hmm. it had, it was geared like thermodynamics. It had all the subjects for mechanical in it. Uh, to, just to recap, so strategy, definitely having a strategy on time management, mm -hmm. how you're going yep. to spend the time on the exam, and then also resources, because the first time you took Linder book book, and you found that wasn't helpful, then you got our morning course, which only covers some of the topics in mechanical, we ha we don't have a course for mechanical, like a full course for mechanical yet, we mm -hmm. are working on it, <laughs> we are going to yep. launch it. 
uh, next year. Not sure yet when, but we okay. are going to work on it. I just finished civil. And so the, our, my next thing is, is to do mechanical. Um, and so for the mechanical topics that we don't cover, you went ahead and you got school of PE, which mm -hmm. you found it very helpful. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you also said you they had a lot of the, the practice exam that looked like the exam itself, the FE exam. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, I think those are really helpful. And we're actually working on launching a couple as well uh, sometime by the end of this year. So that's going to be good as well because it's going to help a lot of our students just to get that exam environment. Mm -hmm. um, okay, awesome. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about um, the, so what I want you to know is, so a lot of students have a hard time buying courses for the FE because they are expensive mm -hmm. and yeah. you know and like investing that much money in a course you know and then you always wonder like is this it is this going to actually help me pass the FE you know mm -hmm. and so like what was the deciding factor for you to go from our like free, free YouTube videos to actually purchasing the course I think the first time I just realized I was so underprepared and I just when I, when I came out of that first exam, I was like, I cannot, I have to do something different. And so I was so, it was kind of strange that I was so committed to something that, you know, I, I didn't, you know, when I first got out of college, I wasn't, it wasn't, I think secretly it was in my radar, but it was like, I was kind of just scared of failing. So I just, and then, you know, you get through, you know, you purchase the first, yeah, by the time you're done, you're end up, you know, but purchasing the test and devoting you think about the time you spend it's like so I think it was like if I'm gonna this is something that it's a commitment it's something that I want like a life it's a life decision you know I mean because the ultimate goal is the PE and I want to be it'll make me a better engineer but I looked at it and I said if I can get someone a class that will help me to explain it to me in a way that I can learn it better I that I, to me it was like yeah it was well worth the money yeah you brought up yeah. really good points like it's like investing in you know courses that can help you get there faster and that's something that people yeah. don't realize that like time is pretty much money like if you spend you can spend five years in this and pass the FE versus you know one year or two years and investing in a course that can help you get there really fast all right now let's talk a little bit about uh, a couple of weeks before the exam so one of the most common questions that we get from our students is how to spend their last two weeks before the FE tell us a little bit about like what did you do two weeks before the tests Okay, so two weeks before, I would say I, I tried to wrap up like any like new information. Um, I'm thinking at least a week before because I didn't do any new information the last week. Um, I believe I had it finished before that, but like I didn't go back and like, and so then the Sunday before, I know that I took a practice exam and I sat there, I, I made it just like the test situation, um, sat in front of the, the computer. And I think I even had, yeah, cause I, like I was saying, they had that question. Me. I did that. I had my calculator. I had my, um, like my scratch paper and I just sat there and took a practice test. Now I did not do very well on some of my practice tests. Like I felt like, Oh my gosh, I didn't, you know, I, and so I, I didn't let that discourage me because I think I had watched some of your other videos and some folks said, oh, yeah, I didn't really do that good. But then they passed. And so I what I did was, though, I would go back and like the kind of questions that I missed. I'd go back and I would do those types of questions again, like if it was a certain subject. So after so I would say the last week uh, I did that, like I just went back and I said, OK, these questions I'm having a hard time with. Let me go do a bunch of this type of question. And so having a question bank with a lot of that types of questions, I could do that. So my goal was, even though maybe I didn't do good on the whole practice test, I could get really good at this subject. Then I could go, you know, anything that I was struggling in, I could, you know, focus on. So that's kind of how I spent my last week, last couple of weeks was doing that. Hmm, that's amazing. Yeah. And I'm really glad you brought that up because a lot of students, like th when they take practice exam, they would send me an email and they'd be like, oh my God, like I'm feeling discouraged because mm -hmm. I scored low and I thought I was going to 
or higher. And like I always tell students, like this is an opportunity for you to learn from your mistakes, mm -hmm. strengthen your weaknesses, just like you did right, like you did the day uh, the week before the test, mm -hmm. and just learn from them so that you don't do the same mistakes again on the FE exam. And I always use this student's example. We had a student who she got like forty eight percent on the practice exam. A week later, she passed her FE. Mm -hmm. Which like <laughs> I always use that. So, That's almost you know, exactly like me. Yeah. I think I, I'm pretty pretty sure that's yeah that, that's yeah. similar <laughs> yeah so yeah. it's like you know like this is not the time to feel discouraged or to beat yourself up for it you know just like understand your mistakes and then work on them I love what like what you did it's like you took it to the next level you were like okay I got these questions wrong I'm gonna do so many of them to like get this thing right which mm -hmm. I really like uh kind of just makes you feel more confident that you can tackle like your weaknesses awesome um now as you headed into the exam, were you feeling stressed? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I, I think every time I uh, I did feel the first, not like not like the it wasn't the same as the first time. But yeah, I was stressed. It, I you know I had the jitters. I would say the last time I was probably the least stressed, just because I knew I was more prepared. Is something that a lot of our students experience is that when they go in into the exam and if they don't get the first couple of questions or even the first question, yeah. they, they freak out and they start spiraling, which affects the whole mm -hmm. exam, their performance. Yeah. Did you have that happen to you or like, how did you make sure like to kind of like stay calm the whole time? I had the mindset that okay, if it's a strange question, not, I'm not ready for it. I'm going to go just skip, just go past it. I'm going to mm -hmm. go all the way through. I just went in with that mindset. And I think going in with that mindset of your strategy, it helps you because if you go in and you think, oh, the first question is going to be a circle question. I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, no, they'll, they throw whatever a first question could be like a harder question than 10 questions into the exam, you know? And so that's kind of, it's all about going in with the mindset of your, stra your stra strategic mindset, as I, I would say. Awesome. I, I love that. And, um, and I think like what you really had at the end is that from all these attempts, you learned how to change your mindset mm -hmm. and then how to like have a strategy for pretty much anything that could happen to you during <laughs> <Yes>. that exam. <laughs> so even if the computer froze, didn't bother you you stayed <laughs> calm because you know you kind of got ready or you prepared yourself to like expect anything could mm -hmm. happen and that's what I always like try to tell students like hey expect some really weird questions where you're like what is this I've never mm -hmm. heard about this I've never seen this before and you know and you gotta have a strategy of how to handle it without spiraling and making sure that you stay positive throughout the whole exam and just mm -hmm. give it the your best shot at this point you can't really do anything you can't go back and study it's over you just gotta focus on just giving it your best and then see what happens yeah yeah all right. Awesome. Okay. And that's it. And then, and that's how you pass your FE. Um, yeah, yeah. Tori, congratulations again. I'm Thank really so happy much. for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to get more videos like this to help you pass your FE exam. Also, let me know in the comments below if there is a specific question that you wish I would have asked Tori. And while you guys wait for the next video, make sure that you guys check out these two videos that I have right here, which will help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh yeah,